Yo guys, what's going on? It's Speddy. In today's video, we're going to go over the spear and the different builds for both PvE and PvP. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel and liked the video, it really does help me out and I would very much appreciate it. Also, follow my Twitter and join my Discord server. Both are linked in the description down below. So the spear primarily scales with dexterity and also with strength. So if you're looking for a full dexterity build, I would highly recommend pairing the spear with the bow. You can pair it with a musket, it just depends on your personal preference and what weapon you would prefer using it with. And also, if you're looking for a full strength build, I would highly recommend pairing this with the great axe for a really good DPS build. So I'm going to quickly talk about your armor's weight class while using the spear. In my opinion, the spear works best when you're in the lightweight class category, just for the extra bit of mobility with the dodge rolling and the buffs you get from the weapon mastery tree. All you need to do is have a light armor equipped in every single slot apart from the chest plate which should be a medium and you will still be in the lightweight class category so you'll still be able to dodge roll and all that good stuff. So to start off with we're going to go over a good PvE build for the spear within the zone art spear tree and we're going to start off with one of the main abilities which is javelin where you'll throw your spear dealing 125% weapon damage and staggering on the hit. From it, we'll also take Fortal Impact, where targets are knocked down instead of staggered when hit by the Javelin, which is really useful if you're accurate with your throws. We'll also take Mercedes Strength, which deals 25% more damage against knocked down targets, which is really useful if you're within melee distance after you've thrown your spear when they're knocked down. We'll also take Refreshing Precision, where Javelin Headshots reduce the cooldown of Javelin by 50%. And lastly with the javelin it will take deadly distance where the javelin gains 2.5% more damage per meter travelled, capping at 100%, which is more useful within expeditions or on a larger mob target like the boss in Amrine Excavation. So from here we'll also focus on another main ability which is sweep, where you'll sweep the target's legs dealing 75% weapon damage and knocking them down, which is a really good AOE so you'll knock down anyone within melee distance from you. We'll also take Tenacious Sweep, which will now enable Grit, making it uninterruptible. And lastly, Coop the Grace, where you'll perform a downward stab that deals 125% weapon damage, which again is really useful after you've hit your sweep. Now we'll go across to the other main ability, which is Cyclone, which is a spin attack that deals 100% weapon damage, pushing targets back 3 meters and applying 50% slow for 3 seconds which is another really useful AOE within Expeditions or Open World Dungeons. We'll also take Invigorating Combo, where Cyclone gains 25 stamina per hit, which is again really useful if you're in a large mob group and can hit them Cyclone shots to gain more stamina. And lastly, Strong Momentum, where Cyclone will just enable Grit, making it uninterruptible. And from there, we're going to focus now on our passives. And the first one we're going to take is a really good buff, which is Defensive Stance, where you'll gain Fortify after successful heavy attacks, increasing damage absorption by 15% for 2 seconds, which again is really useful within Excavations or Open World Dungeons or even the Corrupted Events. We'll also take Evasive Maneuvers, where Dodging Backwards consumes 20% less stamina for 2 seconds after successful hits, which is really useful if you're in the Light Weight Class category and are dodge rolling around. We'll also take Invigorating Grits where you'll restore 20 stamina on critical hits. We'll also take Refreshing Reach where successful heavy attacks reduce all spear cooldowns by 15% which is extremely useful again in open world dungeons or expeditions where you're constantly using your heavy attacks so you'll be able to use your abilities more often. We'll also take Strong Conditioning, where you'll gain 30% more Stamina Regen when your Stamina is below 50%. And lastly, we'll also take this last one on the Zona Tree. I think people call it the Champion Ability, and it's Reserved Strength, where you'll gain 25% damage when your Stamina is full. And from here, we're going to go over to the Impaler Skill Tree now, with Precise Jabs, which is 5% Critical Chance on Light Attacks, which again is really useful if you're just prodding your Spear into mobs. And the last one we're going to finally pick is Finishing Blows, which is 15% damage against targets with less than 30% health. We'll take that just to finish them off that little bit quicker. And this spear build is going to be for PvP, and we're going to be using both the Impaler and the Zona passives and abilities. 
We'll start off with refreshing jabs on the impaler tree, which is where all spear cooldowns are reduced by 10% on the second hit of the light attack chain. Then we're going to go with finishing blows with 15% damage against targets with less than 30% health, just to finish them off that little bit quicker. Then we're going to focus on one of the main abilities, which is Vault Kick, where you'll use your spear to vault forward and kick your target, dealing 75% weapon damage and applying a stun for 1.5 seconds, which is also a really good gap closer. We'll also go with Relentless Blows, where you'll gain Empower after a successful Vault Kick on targets below 50% health and increasing damage by 20% for 5 seconds, which is going to be very, very useful. And lastly, on Vault Kick, we'll take Continuous Motion, where cooldowns for other spear abilities are reduced by 30% on a successful Vault Kick, which is, again, really useful, so you won't have to wait that long for your ability cooldowns. And we'll also take Unerring Precision, which is 20% damage against targets with active Grit, as a lot of other players will probably have Grit active on their abilities. We'll also take Precise Jabs, which is 5% chance of critical hits on light attacks. And next, we'll take Perforate, which is 3 quick piercing strikes that deal 70% weapon damage and apply Rend, reducing the target's damage absorption by 5% for 10 seconds. We'll also take Rupturing Strikes, which is where Rend will increase to 10% per strike against targets above 50% health. And next, with Perforate, we'll take Impactful Strikes, where the target is staggered if you successfully land all three hits. And to finish off with the Impaler Tree, we'll take Exploited Weaknesses, where you'll gain 10% damage per debuff on a target, which caps at 30% max. And coming over to the zone tree now, we will take Deadly Reach, which is 10% critical chance on attacks against targets that are 3 meters away, which is really useful if you're dodge rolling away from your target and they are more than 3 meters away, so you have that extend on your spear to hit them. The last main ability we'll be taking is Sweep, again, which will sweep the target's legs, dealing 75% weapon damage and knocking them down. Also Tenacious Sweep, where you'll have Grit enabled, so you won't be interrupted. And lastly, we'll take Coup de Grace, which is where you'll perform a downward stab that deals 125% weapon damage once their legs have been swept. From there, we'll also take Defensive Stance, where you'll gain Fortify after successful heavy attacks, increasing damage absorption by 15% for 2 seconds, again, which is really useful in PvP scenarios. We'll also take Macellus Strength, where you'll deal 25% damage against knockdown targets, and I'm pretty sure this also stacks with Sweep, where you'll also perform that downward stab on them as they are knocked. We'll also take Invigorating Grits where you'll restore 20 stamina on critical hits which again is really useful as you need that stamina in PvP. And lastly, we'll also take Refreshing Reach where successful heavy attacks reduce all spear cooldowns by 15%. And a lot of the time you'll be performing heavy attacks so it's always good to have that cooldown so you can use your abilities more often. So that will do it for this video. If you're going to be using the spear at launch, then let me know in the comments down below. And if so, what will you be pairing it with? If you found the video useful, then please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have an amazing day.